Hi, this is Michelle with NerdyMomsUnited.com and today we're going to talk about lead pages and if it is the right sales page tool for you. Let's go to the slides. Is lead pages the best landing page builder for you? In this lead page review, I'm going to talk about the difference between a web page and a landing page, what is lead pages and why you'd use it, is lead page easy to use? I'm going to show you a price and plan chart for lead pages. What are some of the benefits and disadvantages of it? And what benefits do you get with lead pages? Okay, what's the difference between a web page and a landing page? Well, a landing page is a web page, but it has a very specific function. Um, they're used for marketing. And there's four different types that you would use. A squeeze page is used for lead capturing or as a landing page. It's a single web page and you usually use it for collecting emails, access to a free webinar or download. The squeeze page's job is to funnel the visitor to get them to provide their email address. Usually after a squeeze page, a lot of times a person is led to a bridge page. This is also a single web page right after your squeeze page. And it's a great way to boost your conversion. Its goal is to drive traffic to your sales page or funnel. Now with a landing page, it is also a standalone page, but it showcases a specific service or um, offer that you want to give to your visitor. And its goal is to make a sale. Now with a sales funnel or a sales page, this is a more robust version of the other three. It can encompass those three items plus more because it has multiple web pages. Its goal is to bring your customer through a journey uh, to bring them to the final sales decision. This works best when they, there's options or features they need to consider before buying. So that way the user is well informed before they make the final purchase. Now this is perfect if you want to offer your customer an upsell or downsell to the main product so that way they can make sure they complete their um, buying experience and get the most out of it for them. What is lead pages and why would you use it? It is great for creating landing pages and pop-ups. You can use it to collect email addresses or get them to the sale. You can use this with or without a blog. I've seen a lot of bloggers do use lead pages. You will need an email service provider because you're collecting emails from your landing pages and pop-ups. Uh, the three most common ones that you can use is ConvertKit, Aweber, and GetResponse. There's other services you can use. You can check out my blog post regarding lead pages of a full list of all the email service providers you can use with lead pages. I do have YouTube videos reviewing each one of these three email marketing services down below. I'll leave the links for you. Out of the three, my favorite is ConvertKit only because they have a free beginner's plan. With that plan, it is awesome because it allows you to have up to a thousand email subscribers. They do not count duplicate subscribers against you and it helps you build out your marketing strategy without um, the upfront cost in the beginning unless you have over a thousand subscribers then you have to pay for the the first initial plan but that's just the way it works because um, not, not everything is gonna be free forever but I like the fact that ConvertKit does not hinder you with getting started now lead pages is very popular with bloggers is lead pages easy to use? Yes, they have a drag and drop landing page editor that um, makes things really easy to use. They have loads of video and free training on YouTube, which is awesome because it definitely makes it easier for you to get up to speed on how to use it. They have a lot of widgets that are available to you, like countdown timers and checkout, and etc. Et that you can use on your landing pages. They have pop-up boxes and forms you can actually use on your blog or with lead pages, landing pages itself. Here's their price and plan chart for lead pages. They have a 14-day free trial. They don't have a free plan currently, 
but here are the current plans they do have. They have their starter all the way to advanced plan. Uh, and here's the costs here for that. Each plan does have a different tier of features. And I, what are the benefits that are in each lead pages plan? Um, not all of them would fit on this um, slide. If you go to my blog post, I'll leave it down below regarding this review. So you can actually see all the features that are for each plan. So that way you can make an informed decision on what best fits your needs because I find that to be very important because you need to know what will best fit you. What are some of the disadvantages to lead pages? Well, you're stuck with the landing page template that you chose. Um, if you want to use a different one, you have to create a brand new landing page. So you need to be aware of that because you're stuck with the design you have unless you want to do something different regarding a different layout or color scheme. So you need to be aware of that. But it won't completely hinder you. You just need to know that piece. They have limited A-B split testing. So um, I want you to be aware of that. It is difficult to share your templates with other team members. Lead pages um, makes it hard, especially with that when you're working with a team to be able to do that. Um, I know that ConvertKit, which is another very popular tool, does not have that problem. They have really great A-B testing. They, you're not stuck with the landing page template design that you initially picked. Um, they, give, they keep it very flexible. And uh, you can actually make templates and share with team members or sell them. Just saying, there's some other uh, routes. I'll leave the link to the ClickFunnels re um, YouTube review down below so that way you can take a look at it so you can make an informed decision. What are the benefits you get with lead pages? Well, here's all the fun you can do with it. Now, this isn't all of the benefits. If you go to my blog post, you're going to see a, a much bigger list of what you can get with your lead page. Um, plan so I wanted you to be able to see some of the fun you get to have with it one thing different between click funnels and lead pages is with lead pages they allow you to tweak the page with a little bit of HTML coding if you want now with click funnels there there's you don't have to do any coding whatsoever so it's all depending on your comfort level on that just wanted you to be aware of that piece but uh, don't let that hinder you I mean everyone has different comfort comfort levels when it comes to technology, but I just wanted to make sure I stayed upfront with you on that. But uh, I do have more juicy details about lead pages and, it's, and the review blog post I wrote and that link will be down below for you. I hope you liked my video. Like and subscribe. My name is Michelle with NerdyMomsUnited.com and I will see you in my next video.